If you want to be able to buy the most expensive players and open the best packs in FC24, go to u7buy.com to buy your EA FC24 coins. It's cheaper than buying FC points and just as reliable. With their already amazing prices, you can get an extra 6% using promo code INCEPTION at checkout. Is this new evolution today a paid one? Because hopefully it's a free one. I'm hoping that it's a free one. Because if it's a free one and people are kind of going down the route of like sentimental and they want to give them like specific cards and that's pretty cool, but let's see. Super power. Which one is this one called? This one's called RTTK Mastery of... Okay, cool. So it is a free one. All right. Because that, to be fair, that adds to it, in my opinion. You know, it does add to it because... There's some cards here that needed to be like drastically improved for them to be a little bit better to use in the meta of the gameplay. So again, if you're going in the sentimental route, uh, they did give you pinged pass plus and whipped pass weak foot improvement. So that is pretty decent for a free one. That's not bad, right? Uh, squad battle games, rivals uh, assist for using yours in uh, squad battles as well. So, uh, squad battles, squad battles. Squad battles, squad battles, and squad battles. Yeah, okay, so you can do it all in squad battles. That's not bad. Okay, so let's take a look at some of the uh, the meta options that you have to work with here. Obviously, the main one here is going to be the uh, Acuna card, for sure. Uh, now, with Acuna's card, he has uh, a significant improvement in regards to... It's like an info improvement, right? What's this one? It's an evil from this, right? You know what's kind of cool about it is that it's a radioactive like the radioactive concept is like really cool right because you can put more of these cards in your teams uh because of the chemistry links right so if you're going with like argentina or something then you could do that it's probably extinct or something yeah 75k extinct um free improvement on this card who does have some very good play styles Akuni actually holds up pretty well nowadays honestly like he's a good physical type player um I don't know, man. He has like that pit bull play style in the game. You know, he has all the right play styles and stuff as well. Uh, a bunch of them actually. He's got Anticipate, Bruiser, Trivella, Whipped Pass. Like he has like a lot of very, very good stuff. Cards like this, honestly, if you keep them on certain instructions and like the midfield setup or, you know, the defensive areas, he's going to be pretty decent, right? The pace is on the lower side for like the left back position in particular. Maybe not so much the left mid if you play like a three back. Uh, left back a little bit more because acceleration sprint speed being that low without being lengthy is not going to push pace out of the card. But in the midfield situation, um, he definitely looks pretty solid, right? He has very good stats with the shadow chemistry style. So you definitely can't go wrong with this one for sure. Uh, let's see what else we got here. So popular. And then we go to this one. Darmian's going to be another one for people because he is... Controlled Shadow Chemistry Style to 88 Acceleration, 93 for Sprint Speed. Defensive stats massively increased. The Darmian card was actually used in some people's teams because he had a specific time period where he got improved or he, he got like a really good improvement on the card. And he was actually pretty decent in game, to be honest. Um, so obviously Whipped Pass Plus is definitely very nice. Could potentially receive some evolutions in the future, depending on certain variables, obviously. Um, unless they make like a new Darmian promo card or something right but yeah you know 88 acceleration 93 for sprint speed defensive stats massively increased again uh doesn't seem like he's a lengthy player i have to check this out real quick because sometimes it is not correct let's see here okay so um evolutions there we go um doo -doo 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 -doo. completed evolutions Yeah, so Shadow controlled still a five-star weak foot. Five-star weak foot's actually a plus. It's definitely very nice to work with. You really can't go wrong with that for sure. Okay, let's see what else we got here. Um, Julio Coolio Bonucci. Well, this one will be chalked because 77 pace is way too low, so we don't really need to look into this one too much. That has to be, like, majorly sentimental for you to use, especially in this game. Pedro. Uh, he's a four-star, five-star player. Gets a five-star weak foot, which is actually very nice. Uh, he's still kind of strangely formatted a little bit, uh, but he actually looks like way more usable, right? So if you were to give this card 
the Hunter chemistry style, right? 99 acceleration, 87 for sprint speed. His sprint speed is very low. In all fairness, it is very, very low for sure. But five star weak foot. He's got finesse shot, tiki taka, first touch, trivella whipped, uh, whipped crosser, whipped crosser, right? Eh? Uh, and long ball pass. So technically speaking, the play styles are still very nice to work with. The main thing here is not really being in the mid 90s for the finishing, right? With the Hunter chemistry style, 92, 87. But obviously for people who are Lazio fans or, you know, want to have these sort of players in their team, you can't really go wrong with that, right? So usually with these things, like they're not really going to be like crazy for meta. Like some of them could be okay depending on the type of team that you build, right? Acuna is definitely going to be the main one. That's why he's trending, right? Um, Andre Silva, if you still have this card, <laughs> if you still have it. Uh, again, the sentimental value is definitely there for people who improved the Andre Silva to now being a four-star weak foot. Now, if you use this card on your team, again, mainly sentimental because he's still formatted very low in multiple areas of the card. Um... You know, if you were to give him like a finisher chemistry style, which I think that's what I gave him even during that time period as well. It's a usable card, especially for people that want to have fun and use players that are sentimental to them. For instance, for me, it'd be like a former FC Porto player and having Pink's Pass Plus would be really cool. But doesn't have the pace. Um, apparently not a lengthy to push the pace out of the card, but he could still be okay to use, right? It's a free upgrade for people that are using it in a sentimental way. These evolutions would be really cool with the proper game modes, but because we don't, that's the only thing that really throws me off on a personal level, right? Uh, Gio Reyna, um, obviously for the American fan base, he's four star, three star now, so he's not a four star, two star. Four star, two star before was chalked. Uh, but the usability here is a little bit higher for people that want to work with the American players, right? I think Gio Reyna got loaned out to the Premier League it might have been to Brentford or something. I forget. I think he I think he moved to a Premier League team on loan. But I mean, listen, if you're building an American team, regardless, if you have this card still in your squad, it's a usable card, right? Play styles, uh, pink pass being added is definitely very nice. He's got Tiki Taka, technical flare, ripped cross, long ball pass, finesse shot. So obviously has some uh has some really, really cool stuff. So you can't really go wrong with that either. Um Dries Mertens for the Turkish fans. You know, Galatasaray, right? Um, four star, five star, high, high work rates. Honestly, if I was going to use this card for meta, it would have to mainly be in the side positions, not even camera striker. I mean, you could technically do it. Honestly, the usability would be there, right? But it would have to be like attacking oriented center mid or something, in my opinion, right? But play styles, finesse shot, incisive pass, flare, first touch. Is this like correct? Are they, do they just all have the same stuff? Oh, because they give long ball pass too. Okay, sorry. I was like checking. I was like, oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Bruno Gimenez finally gets the upgrade. So for people that did the SBC, he now gets a four-star weak foot. So for Newcastle fans, they'll be working with a card on a shadow chemistry style that is still kind of low to be fair, but usability wise, right? The improvement is nice. Like I said, if this was like a paid evolution, it definitely would have been really annoying for people that are building those sort of squads. Uh, Kalulu, another one as well. French Syria links play styles wise. Uh, he already has block, anticipate, and now he has whipped cross, long ball pass, and pink pass. To be honest, guys, for a center back, it is actually very nice to have long ball pass, right? So Kalulu is not too bad. Um, I'm assuming that this price would, I mean, this card would maybe be extinct too. Maybe not as much as like the. Um, over Acuna, but yeah, I mean, never mind, because he's he looks like a meta choice, to be fair. Block and anticipate with a four-star weak foot, it's kind of like a big deal. Um, yeah. Uh, we have the CDM Dutch player. I had him for fodder, and then we have this guy that plays for Lens. High medium work rates, four-star weak foot now, shadow chemistry style. Puts him in a, a pretty usable area, but defensive stats is still pretty low on him, right? But... Um, yeah, honestly, like for an, uh, for an evolution like this, it should be free. It definitely should not be one that you pay for. If you had to pay for it, that would have been chalked. But for a free one, you get some pretty decent upgrades for the sentimental value for some of the cards that you may have used before. 
Um, so yeah. Di Maria. Why did he go up in price? Is it, is it is it like a leaked evolution for him too, or Road to the Knockouts? What's the thing for this? Overall max 88, 93 pace. Physical max rarity UCL roll to the knockouts. Number of playstyles maximum eight. Number of playstyle pluses max zero. Oh, oh, oh. oh, they really did that, eh? They really did that. Number of playstyle pluses max zero, and he has trickster plus. That's why. Pretty funny, actually. Uh, what else do we have here? UCL roll to the knockouts. This is a new roll to the final card. He'll get you the links to the to the Pedro card if you do that. Um, and Kunku's trending because the SBC. Then if anyone packs him or Van Dyke, I'd be hugely surprised, but it could happen. Nerez is the gameplay objective. Ah, I see, because of the... Di Maria link and stuff. Okay, okay, okay. Well, that's pretty much it, really. That is pretty much it. Yeah. All right, guys. Thanks for watching the video. I'll catch you guys for the next one. Peace out, dudes. Love you guys.